we are challenging ourselves to explore our own backyard, forcing ourselves outside into the hostile weather to try to change our mindset about that great British winter. Our first dog on this winter series is the Jurassic Coast. This rugged coastline stretches for 95 miles along the southern fringe of England. Today we will be taking on the ferocious January winds as we go wild camping and hiking along this coastline in Dorset. <laughs> The weather is foul today. Uh, we have 45 mile an hour winds. We've got spitting rain, and we're going to be hiking along the southwest coast path along the Jurassic Coast, one of England's most beautiful stretches of coastline. It's going to be wet. It's going to be wild, and we're going to be camping. Uh, so it's going to be an adventure for certain. Ready to go? Let's go camping in the storm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of water out on the roads today. Uh, it's making me a little bit nervous to see the coast path. It's very stormy today. Our last video was very stormy and today it's no different. We've got yellow wind warnings, yellow rain warnings. We had to take a diversion because of flooding on the roads. But we're arriving now into Swanage where we're starting our walk. I've got to say it's pretty warm in this cab and it's going to be quite hard to start this walk but we've got our backpacks ready in the back. <laughs> Rage, rage, rage. My Nepal backpack is coming on its first UK adventure. We were very organised, packed our bags last night, even made all our food. We're carrying a lot of food. We're potentially going to stay out for two nights, maybe just one. <laughs> this is heavy. Wow! I think it's because we're on a slope. We've been delaying starting our track today because the weather has been really bad. It's been 45 <laughs> mile an hour winds and like quite heavy rain uh, but it's cleared up now and it should be clear now for the next couple of days we're only expecting a little bit of rain during the night and that's all right so quite a lot of wind in the night too quite a lot of wind <laughs> it's gonna be pretty windy i think but for now it's glorious let's go enjoy the winter glorious <laughs> it is look at this lovely here Gotta admit, we did just have a moment in the car park when it was pouring with rain. We were like, sure, we still do it. Just because we didn't know if we'd be able to film or not. It looks fine now. And over the next couple of days, our plan is to try and hike to Durdle Door, which is a good stomp away, and it should take us two or three days. Let's go. We're off. The bamboo's looking nice and clean. Gosh, yesterday. Oh. <laughs> First hurdle of the trip. I attach yours just like I attach mine, so hopefully... <laughs> Today we're going to be walking along the Jurassic Coast and the Jurassic Coast is pretty famous for its geology and its fossils and part of the reason for that is that it has rocks that span three different eras so the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous the younger rocks are over on this side, on the eastern side so Old Harry stacks which we're looking out across to over there the white chalk cliffs they are the youngest and as you work your way along west they get older so we'll be walking backwards in time uh, geologically on the way out of Swanage we're walking up through this road that's called the Isle of Wight Road because you get amazing views out to the Isle of Wight, out, out to sea. It feels like a big country estate and there's instruments for the kids to play. Southwest coast past Jurassic coast. That's a really nice pleasant place. So this stretch of the southwest coast path is often known as one of the hardest sections of the whole thing and that is because it is so hilly and it undulates up and down often described as a roller coaster of a coast path. There's been a lot of like limestone quarrying and mining here and you can see where they've been working on the quarries. 
as we round this corner, we're going to be going back into the blustery winds. And it feels really good just to be out here enjoying the sea views and the fresh ocean air. Woohoo! Tom's right, it's really windy this side. We have just ventured around past the lighthouse and suddenly it feels very exposed. So we've got a pretty windy walk ahead of us, I think. The mud here is like very clay and it's very slippery. Ah, that is so horrible! First day, an hour into the walk. I'm gonna fall over. Oh, it's quite hard to walk fast on this path because it's so slippery. Just falling over again. Full count, two. We don't actually know how long this walk is gonna take us. Uh, all we have is an end goal and that is Durdle Door. We don't know where we're sleeping tonight, but tomorrow night we have to get to at least Lulworth Cove because between us and there, there's a military firing range which closes on the Monday. The further we get today, the less far we have to walk tomorrow. This is really tough. It's like ice skating uphill against the wind. Oh, if we make it to Durdle Door, I'll be very impressed. This looks like it could be rain on the horizon. Fingers crossed it doesn't materialize into anything serious, but for now we'll keep plodding through. Oh. Oh. Oh, I fell, I've fallen. Oh. 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 I was just about to say, the good news is we're out the worst of the mud, but here I am on the floor oh. to prove otherwise. Uh, the rain, missed us and went past. I was gonna give you a good news update. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I'm getting hungry, so we're gonna stop for some food and just enjoy the view. It's so nice here. What a lovely place to have a bit of food, but we can't stop for long because oh, it gets chilly really quickly. And uh, we also are losing light fairly fast. Being in the pool and staying at these guest houses with a hot meal at the end of the day and a warm, cozy bed, I've got to get it out of my head that there's going to be a guest house at the end of this walk. We are just passing Windspit Quarry and these are some old limestone quarries in the cliff. Reminds me a bit of West Cornwall where we've got all of our industrial ruins from the mining. This camping is strictly prohibited. Guess we won't be camping here. We're now on St Almond's Head, which is amazingly beautiful. It's so exposed. The wind is roaring through. If we set up a camp here, we'll be blown off into the sea. The coast stretched out in front of us looks so dramatic and wild. It's really incredible, but you can see why they describe it as a roller coaster. It is straight down to sea level, all the way up to the top of the cliff, all the way down to sea level again. It's going to be tough. Also, the wind has really picked up as we've come around the headland and apparently it gets up to 45 miles an hour tonight. So perfect for camping. Just as we were looking for somewhere to stay for the night, the coast path turned inland a bit and we've managed to find some pretty sheltered. This is our camp for the night. My shoes are caked in mud. This is actually the first day I've ever worn them, so they're brand new. Um, I decided to go for barefoot shoes this time because I've heard they've got lots of benefits. When you start using them, they can be a bit painful because it's training new muscles you don't usually use. But I walk around barefoot so often that I was confident that I, it wouldn't be too bad. We've got two new super noodles each. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> oh, there's stingers everywhere here. I've been so careful and I just got stung. Careful, it's really hot. Nice to be outside eating. And it's actually so cosy in the tent. It's funny yeah. what how quickly you can make a little home. Yeah. 
Well, the pheasants are uh, having a good time. We found uh, these sleeping bags in the attic at Isabel's mum's house. And to be honest, mine looks a little bit thin. I'm hoping it'll be all right. It is five o'clock and we're already tucking up into the tent, getting all cozy. It's really nice in here. I'm really hoping that the weather will be good tomorrow, particularly the wind. I hope the wind dies down and then hopefully I can get some drone shots because I tried to fly the drone earlier and it, wasn't really doing what I was asking it to, the wind was just taking it. Um, but as for tonight, we've got a little hip flask. Woohoo! Should we have a little bit of whiskey? Yeah. The more we drink now, the lighter it'll be tomorrow. Because this is the thing that's making <laughs> all the difference, really. Well done, Tom. Good walk today. Warm the cockles up. We are calling it a night. We are wrapping up all nice and cozy and warm in our beds and ready for tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be really nice weather and you'll get sunburnt. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from a cold tent. Mm. Muddy boots. Check for slugs and spiders. Good to have some light again. It was quite a long night of dark because it got dark about five and didn't get light until about now, which is eight o'clock. Two and a half sachets in there. Cheers. <laughs> And for breakfast, we've got a little pre-made bagel. The longer I've waited, the more that I've tried. That is it, camp is cleared away. Nine o'clock, we best get on our way. Why are you speaking in rhyme? <laughs> we're back on the Southwest Coast Path. And we've come a hundred meters away from where we're sleeping and it's pretty windy. We really did find the perfect little sheltered area. I was dreaming of our van bed last night in that, uh, that tent. There's something about being in a tent that there's nothing you can do to get warmer because the ground was cold, I had all my layers on. And I was just like, I really want to just be in the van and have the heater on and a hot water bottle. But that's, that's camping for you, it's a bit of an adventure. All the years that I've wasted Woohoo, sunshine! Trying to find Unfortunately, there seems to be no let up in the wind. My peace of mind. Being pretty tough today. Big bag, steep hills, and 40 mile an hour headwinds. No smoke in my eyes. I can hear the wind chime. It's always been. That is crazy! The river is just blowing up upwind. And I'm soaked when you run through. It didn't take long to get very wet, very cold. Woo! Everything's cold. We're just walking alongside Kimmeridge Bay, which is a beach known for fossils and stuff like that. I was hoping we could walk along it and maybe spot a fossil, but the tide is in and there are wind surfers and kite surfers. Uh, where we would have been walking. Uh, the good news is uh, there was a tap and a toilet so we could uh, go to the toilet. I say you need a lot of determination and grit because it is quite it's tough <laughs> walking into the wind. Just as we're leaving Kimmeridge, we pass what looks like a, like a Texan oil well. It's the oldest continually working oil well in the whole of the United Kingdom. It's a little way further on, we are coming into an army firing range. Uh, to get to Lulworth, you have to pass through this firing range. And it's only open certain times uh, of the year, so you have to check on the government website to see when it's open, but it is open this weekend. I am getting a little bit of a negative mindset here, thinking, oh, you're gonna make it. But I'm trying to stay positive. This is a real challenge. 
It's amazing how walking up these hills into these headwinds for two days really just saps your energy. I let it all go out the window. No smoke in my eyes. Hey, it is kind of laughably steep. Just straight up. I don't know if my legs can really handle it. I mean, with this big bag and the wind, it's tough. But I'm just trying not to look up. I'm just doing one step in front of the other. Trying to remember uh, one of our hardest days in Nepal, climbing up these Chomrom steps. Trying to channel that energy and just... Just don't look back, don't look forward, look at the ground and stomp. Don't take in any sights. After that big uphill, we are on our way down again, uh, ready for the next section of the roller coaster where we climb up to about the same height we've just come from. There's a burner, a leg burner, but the day is much nicer. The wind has died down, it's still pretty strong, but it doesn't feel like it'll blow you over anymore. Now it just feels like your ears might fall off. I think lesson learned from this trip is next time we do like a multi-day hiking, camping trip, just do a little bit less walking. I think we might bit off a little bit more than we can chew. Reach the other end of the military zone. Whoa. That was really beautiful walk, really tough walking. Yeah. Uh, lots of very steep hills. In order to avoid climbing up yet another massive cliff, we have come down onto the beach and we are walking across Lulworth Cove. Ah, oh, it feels like an achievement. We've made it. The last thing I want to do right now is leave this pub because it's really nice and cosy and I could definitely have another pint, but we need to find somewhere to sleep tonight. Uh, I don't want to be doing that in the dark. We found a little spot for a tent. It's not ideal because it's quite windy, but it's the most flat spot we can find and it is quite close to the coast path. But we're going to put it up now, it's getting dark, and then we're going to put it back down before it gets light tomorrow. So. She'll be all right, and we're quite close to Dirtle Door now. We're about, only about like half a mile away. Hopefully we'll sleep well, because we've walked a lot today. Yeah, it's been a big day, really big, challenging day. Just so like out in the elements. Just, yeah, having the wind, that like such strong wind in your face for so long. I feel quite proud of us for making it. It was a tough, tough climbs. And yeah, and I'm glad we'll get to see D uh, Dirtle, Dirtle Door. Door tomorrow. You won't be able to see me, but good morning from a horrible tent. That was the worst night's sleep ever. It was so rainy and windy. There's water all in our tent. Our sleeping bags are soaked. Wow. Last night was an experience. Uh, around eight o'clock, the rain started and it was so heavy. There was just so much rain nonstop and wind. The whole tent was shaking and then around two o'clock in the morning we woke up and realised that everything, I don't know if you can see all this, everything was getting wet. The water was just actually getting into the tent. Our sleeping bags are soaking. Nearly everything we have is soaking. Luckily the electronics are all right. But our shoes are going to be wet. It's going to be a cold day today. And then we've just opened the front door and we're surrounded by snow. <laughs> Um, we've survived the night, which is <laughs> an achievement in itself. Originally, our plan was to get up, get the tent down and get walking. But um, we are so chilly that we've decided we have to have a hot drink oh, before oh, we leave. Oh, try and get some warmth back in us. We need to get our body moving, try and keep some warmth in. We are a quarter of a mile from Dirtle Door, so we're going to head there first. We started to get an idea of the weather last night. If it wasn't so cold, I would say that Manawar Beach would be an amazing place to have a morning swim. Man, that was an absolutely mammoth challenge. I can't believe we've made it. Oh, it's beautiful, but I'm also just relieved. It's been really tough. Door. 
Thanks, Daryl Daw, you've been a stunning end to the hike. We did push ourselves yeah. and we, we did it. We it's did getting it. through those it. tough parts and we did do it. We have made it. We've made it back to Lulworth. We're in Lulworth Cove and there's a cafe that's open and everything's vegan. So we're getting a big vegan breakfast and a coffee and the sun has come out and it's, it's so glorious down here now. I'm in heaven. This is like such a contrast to our coffee this morning. It couldn't be more, more of a perfect way to finish the walk. When you're cold and tired, your mood can change very quickly and very easily. And my mood has just lifted so much. I feel really good. Ah, oh, I can't believe we made it. What a challenge. It's taken to this point for me to appreciate it though. It was definitely tough going, uncomfortable, cold, long days of walking, but oh, it feels good. We hiked in the Himalayas, we can do this. The stingers you can get through your trousers? Oh, my butt. <laughs> 